We're running Rafi Villavilla from criticologos.com. It's an honor. It's an honor for me to be talking to Gabriela and Luis Gerardo. Congratulations on the series. It's already a truly an honor for me to talk to the two of you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, obviously, yo estoy ahora mismo en San Juan, Puerto Rico. So, eh, eh, hey. uh, well, I, I need to switch to Spanish for that, for that in a minute. But I, I mean, I, I'm so, I was so excited to, to see this series because it was supported here. We'll see in Santo Domingo, Republic of Canada también. But obviously, uh, talking to the two of you, I mean, uh, Luis, uh, you have done so much already. And, and Gabriela with uh, El Refugio. And now this, you're just, uh, you're blowing it up. I wonder what was it about this project that told you, besides coming to Puerto Rico, that we have to do it. Uh, Gabriela, you first. <laughs> of course, Puerto Rico was a, a hooker, you know? I was like, yes, I'm there, uh, take me there. Um, everything, the creative part, the, the team, the, uh, the cast, the story, of course, and the challenge of being able to act in English and Spanish that was really, really attractive to me. And also this story that has no, like it could, it, it, it do, it's not obvious. You, you don't know which road it's gonna end up in. So that's one of the things that I, it attracted me the most. Luis. I, 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 I loved the Palm Springs, the first, the, the movie that Andy, Andy Ciara, our showrunner did, I, I never, I. I I haven't laughed that much in, in years when I saw that movie. And I also was a huge fan of Mr. Robot and Homecoming, all the shows the producers did before. So all the ingredients were good. But when I read the scripts, I was screaming. I was screaming while I was reading them. I was like, oh, my God, this show is, is so unique. It's so smart. And it's, you never know what the show is about. It's changing all the time. And when I saw it on the screen, I realized it was the same thing. Like, the show is always mutating into something different and that's fascinating when, when i'm watching a show and i know what's going to happen i lost the interest in, the, the interest immediately and this is changing all the time and i think yeah it, it made me scream to the screen the way i scream to the pages in the first place so i think that's a good sign Luis, you, we're going to get back to you again. Baltasar seems such a mystery guy and i wonder because you're not like that so who were you channeling to create that uh, aura. I, I felt something from Pirates of the Caribbean. They, they, there's so many things that I saw when you were creating Baltasar as a character. Who were you channeling? Who were, who were your inspiration for? Um, I mean, it's a mystery. It's a, it's a mix of a lot of stuff, you know? Like I, I was working a lot about these really rich people um they really rich people it's they're always not always but most of the time they're shady you know they're like really powerful families are shady as hell because they need to deal with a lot of things they need to keep themselves in in power and sometimes to keep yourself in power you need to destroy your opponents on this or destroy uh, your competition your um the other the, the, the la competencia how do you say that the yeah competition. Badly, competition you know and and that makes them do shady stuff so i think that was in a way there but also just you know like I, we were just playing throwing clues to the audience misleading clues all the time to never know what really happened i mean they're gonna know at the end of the show what really happened but these characters as the show are never the thing you think they are no, I mean, everybody needs to keep an eye on Luna and Baltazar because I know, I mean, I want to give it to you. So, I, I, I mean, I, I think about your own time, but I want to talk about how, uh, how important it is for you guys to, uh, I mean, how Hollywood is moving. Uh, Luis, I think it's, it's a perfect example of that, how uh, we are finally getting recognized, uh, our, our, our Hispanic, Latino, uh, we're getting our, you know, we're paying our dues and we're getting recognition and we're getting the roles that we deserve for what we do or how talented we are. So I want to start with you, Gabriela, because you've been doing you too much with the preview and now the resort. How important to you is, or how, how, how well, you know, I mean, I think, how, how do you feel that you finally see Hollywood moving in this direction we will see more diversity and more uh, of more of us i think it's a great exciting era to be honest to be an actor and an actress you know um for this diversity and for these opportunities that now are opening up for us as latins and um 
I, I, I do believe that if you get there, then you set a path for someone else to get here. So that's one of the most things that excites me about, about it. Like when I, when I decided to be an actress, it was really important to me to see someone that looks like me, you know, on screen, mm -hmm. because it made me think if there is a place for me there. So I think that's the importance of representation. You do exist and you do matter. Yeah, but, but and I, I also think, uh, especially with this show, with the resort, uh, what I love about the representation is about how specific it is, you know, like, My character, for example, is this rich kid from Yucatan who has this very specific accent of the people in Yucatan, you know, like, and the only way of being this specific, talking about the, the, the Mayas and the ruins and the cenotes, the only way of doing that is hire, hiring Mexican writers, you know, like Latin writers to write these stories. Like Andy Sierra had Manuel Alcala uh, and Maria Vargas in their writer's room. And that's, that's why this feels so authentic, you know, because if you have an American writer that has never been to Tulum or to the Riviera Maya writing about this place, it's just going to be all the cliches and common places you've seen before, you know, like you need to have local people, like, like people that actually know the culture to write these stories because otherwise it's, it's, it's empty, you know? And that's, I think that's now, I think that the thing now is not about representation. It's also about what kind of representation, you know, how, how authentic it has to be. I think you got in there ahead. And congratulations to the two of you. You are the two of you are doing absolutely right to do and breaking down those walls. And I, I, I want to thank you for your time. And, and, and again, that was great. Gracias, Rafael. Gracias a los dos. Muchas gracias, de verdad. Muchas gracias. Felicidades.